welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about the best primed weapons and warframes that you should have in your arsenal there's a lot of warframes that are primed and a lot of weapons that are primed as well and which ones that you should be aiming for that can really benefit you through missions that are very some slight difficult if you are thinking about doing a still path and then missions that you can just basically just run through um, And I'm just gonna be showing you warframes that are really good and weapons that are really good as well Primed ones not regular ones, but primed ones since we're talking about warframes I'm going to show you three warframes that are really really amazing a lot of people talk about them all the time and I think this will be a really great suggestion for you. And so you can get a really good Warframe fast and know which Warframes are like literally the best around and a lot of people use it. Now, I know one of the Warframes that I'm going to say is a very known Warframe. Obviously, it's always being used in the Eli Sanctuary Onslaught. Sanctuary Onslaught. It just never stops. This Warframe name is Saren Prime. Saren Prime is a toxic Warframe which can spread a lot of deadly toxicity around enemies. All right. She has the abilities to do molt, um, spread spores, uh, and spread miasma as well, which is a great ability but not better than the Spores ability, which is the most used ability in Eli and Sanctuary Onslaught. So with her, she comes with a lot of great abilities. Spores, like I said, Toxic Lash is another great one in Miasma. These abilities are honestly the best three out of, well, pretty much one is useful. I, I would say number two to the ability is useful. Molt can definitely regenerate health if you have the augment, all right, regenerative molt, all right, and that'll heal you over time, which is really great. I actually enjoy that ability because of the augment mod that they bring to the ability. That's the only reason why I think I keep this ability round and not replace it with something else. However, spores, first the best ability of all time. Basically, you're just throwing corrosive spores on all enemies and if you have really good range on the build, you'll be able to hit those spores and it'll spread to other enemies as well. With a good range, um, you'll be able to do, you know, spread that spores all around a lot of enemies, even if they're far away. And great damage as well. Great damage plays a huge part because it does damage over time. However, damage does build up because this is a new uh, rework on Saren couple years ago probably and with that new rework damage is building over time so it's a really great uh, growth ability as well and my asthma not too bad spreads viral damage on enemies it doesn't really kill them too fast if you're in a still path however when you're taking it to a mission you kind of just want to clear out very quickly it is one of the amazing abilities to use all right, especially for low enemies around level 30 to 40 to 50 it'll kill them quickly rhino prime is another great warframe this is a beginner's warframe as well if you aren't aware rhino is usually used when you get started in the game um, not to say that you do have to get them you do have to get original rhino however what i'm talking about is a lot of people you uh say that he's a beginner Warframe, he's a really good one, and a lot of abilities that he can do is great. So Rhino Prime is should be probably the next Warframe you should get, honestly, as a Prime Warframe. And because of that, you know, every original Warframe versus a Prime Warframe gets a increase on energy, health, armor, shield, and maybe sometimes sprint speed. But not most of these Warframes have that ability besides Neza. So when we talk about Rhino Prime, Rhino Charge, well, not a great ability. Honestly, I wouldn't even give it my time to even use that ability. Iron Skin as well 
gives it a very useful and a strong ability that is a ferrite armor around Rhino. And when you have a lot of strength on this, you cannot really get torn down, all right? Like, literally, it'll take pretty long to take that armor down, especially with a strong build. But obviously, using it in the Steel Path is going to be a no-go. Roar is a really great ability. Of course, you can increase any weapon damage or for any weapon. It does not matter. For any weapon that you are using, it'll increase damage for everyone, not even just you, for your allies. As long as you have to be nearby your allies, if you have a good range build as well for it, then you are able to spread it wider so everyone else gets your roar buff, which is a really good buff. Like I said, gives any damage to any weapon. Rhino Stomp, not bad as well. Not really great for Steel Path, but however, it's pretty much great for like holding enemies. Uh, crowd Control, of course, and then not only that, but of course, if you have lower enemies that you are surrounded by, this is a great ability to use to take them all out. So not bad, um, pretty great damage, but not all there. So Rhino Prime, yeah, let me know what you guys think about him because he's not bad at all, and he's actually pretty great. So definitely pick up Rhino Prime as your Prime Warframe. I wasn't too for sure about this Warframe, but I'm going to make two more Warframes, the last best Warframes that I'll put in here, but... Necro's Prime is a really great Warframe, and he's not so much of a damage hybrid Warframe. He's actually a, let's say, a slight tank, and he is also a support Warframe. So making Necro's Prime one of the best Warframes is probably a slight go-to or a no. However, I'm just going to put it in the middle of yes for both of them because Necro's Prime does have a farming ability, and he's actually really great for them. So talking about his abilities, Soul Punch, it's not really all that great. It's just punching an enemy. It doesn't do damage. Not a lot. Not at all. It's not important. It's not great. Honestly, I think they should just get rid of this ability. Terrify. All right. Scares away enemies. That's pretty much just it. With a really great range, you'll be able to scare away enemies, terrify them, uh, make them run away from you because you are a dead Warframe. Desecrate is a really great loot farming ability where anybody, you kill anybody, they will drop loot. With a great art, I was going to say arcane, Jesus, augment mod. There's a augment mod for desecrate and it's called despoil. Despoil will uh, give you the most lifetime of energy. However, it will decrease your health. So you won't take down any of your energy but it will decrease your health. With a really great setup build for this, you will last longer and stay alive. You can bring this to the still path as well. It is still pathable, um, slight, but it's still still pathable, so you can still use him. Shadow of the Dead, all right, with another great augment mod for it. This will bring back anybody that you kill, enemies, and then use the fourth ability to bring them back from the dead. You have, well, it's a slight, you know, duration for this. It basically drops their health, I don't know, by at least decays. Okay, 3%. So three, three seconds, it'll decay their health. Now, with the augment mod, you'll be able to have them take damage instead of you taking damage. You will take a little bit of damage, but the damage will go to them. So it'll be linked like Trinity. With a Trinity Link, you'll be able to bring uh, ca <clears throat> cast that damage, link that damage to them instead of you. I don't know if you actually take a little bit of damage, because sometimes it seems like it, but however, that damage will still be linked to them. Last Warframe on my list is Frost Prime, because Frost Prime is one of the greatest Warframes that I've loved through time. Frost is a ice warframe the one of the greatest ice war uh, ice warframes i know there's probably going to be more coming obviously as we go along in warframe you know the future doesn't know what it will bring but i definitely know it will bring a another ice warframe but is going to be better than frost we don't know 
However, I do love Frost. All right, Frost has really great, amazing abilities that you're going to love. So Freeze is actually one of the abilities of Frost. Freeze is just basically throwing a blast of ice, all right, and basically just freeze them in place. Now, obviously, this isn't all that good of an ability, all right? It's something like Soul Punch, but however, Soul Punch isn't all that damageable. This gives it more damage. It does freeze them in place, so that is a, uh, I would say, a good ability. At least it gives damage, so it's not useless, but it's also not also fun. So that's all I'm going to say. Ice Wave. Ice Wave is another great ability. And this will basically just razor sharp send a wave out of ice hitting enemies. Now this deals pretty great damage. Not too much. Obviously it's still path. But if, if going for lower targets, most definitely it'll kill them all. And with a really good range, good damage, you'll be able to have your ice... Uh, razor sharp wave sent long really long and it'll do amazing range and damage as well so building for that makes ice wave actually a really great ability snow glow is a protection snow basically you've seen snow glows before like in reality or something like that um snow glow for frost is actually snow glow a really pretty cool um range of effect and if you actually go out using freeze as you see in here you'll be able to hit the snow globe with freeze and it'll kind of just explode and then everybody will get hit if people are inside it they'll take damage or even outside it they'll take damage um but enemies will slow down inside because it is a snow globe again so it will protect anything that is on the outside that's why it's great to use him for defense um, I would say interception slows them down. Enemies that are trying to intercept the message. If you ever play interception and then mobile defense as well, any defense mission is just going to benefit uh, this Warframe. Frost is a really great Warframe. Avalanche. Avalanche is a really great ability, all right? One of the best, in my opinion, all right? It summons a treacherous landslide of ice, basically swarming with just ice, all right, and then after that, once he like kind of just moves his hand and you know kind of just throws it all away, all of them get pretty much frozen if they don't die, or if they all die, then they'll get broke into ice. So yeah, that's another great ability with a good damage and range. You'll be able to have this uh, ability working great doing amazing damage and then having them break apart it's really a nice ability you can freeze them in place if they don't die uh it's gonna have a little duration to it or you know if you build it for duration as well you will be able to keep them frozen in place for a good while so just keep that in mind moving on to prime weapons we have primary weapons as primed and this is all the prime weapons that i have in here now, first starting with the first prime weapon that I think is one of the best that you should honestly get is right in my hands, Soma Prime. Soma Prime is a really fast rapid fire weapon with a great magazine, a great status with a critical chance of 30%, three times the crit multiplier and 10% status. This weapon, obviously you can take anywhere, do a lot of damage with it, still pathable and with a great build you also will have an amazing time and just a lot of fun with it so that's where i would start with a great weapon is soma prime this is actually my first primed weapon in warframe the first prime weapon i got and i really enjoyed it now it's you know kind of least of my weapons that i ever play with but most definitely i really enjoy this weapon and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So most definitely, pick up Summer Prime. It's definitely a worth it weapon. Moving on to my second weapon, I also have the Astilla Prime. Astilla Prime is a really, really great AoE weapon. With a glass slug, 
shooting explosive glass at enemies will really do a lot of damage for you. So I really, I love this weapon. I, I enjoyed the original version of it. I used it pretty much a lot at the point of time when that first came out. And a Stella Prime, when it, it came out as well, man, it just made it more fun. Because more damage is actually added to the Prime versions. Not most of the time, but great, you know, increase on damage is mostly added. So, it's got a 21% critical chance, a 1.9 times the crit multiplier, and a 37% status. With a great impact puncture, well, not no puncture, a great slash though. But, however, it is going to do a really amazing slash damage because the radio attack is what gives it that. Now, radio attack is what the other part is because it is a explosion part to the weapon that the slash damage is what is going to be exploding on the enemies and doing a lot of slash damage. Rubigo Prime, a really great sniper weapon. Now, I did want to throw something in here for you guys to enjoy. Uh, maybe if you're going to look for a great sniper rifle in the game. Um, but sniper rifles are actually really great. And Rubica Prime is one of those fire and amazing sniper rifles. With a great high critical chance of 38%. Three times the crit multiplier and a 16% status. So these stats are not bad at all. Rubica Prime is a really enjoyable sniper rifle. Out of all sniper rifles in here. Definitely you should pick up Rubico Prime. Great impact, puncture, and slash. What a great, not bad of a magazine. You can definitely increase it if you want to. And yeah, enjoy the weapon. This is also, why I recommend this is because of Eidolon Hunts. If you do get further in the game and start to realize that you want a sniper rifle to take any one of these Eidolon Terrorless down, Rubico Prime is the war up, sorry, weapon to use to take down those terrorists. Moving on to secondary primed weapons, starting off with the Asomari Prime, really great dual rapid fire weapon. 13.33 is amazing. You can increase it more by using a certain mod that will also increase your fire rate and multi-shot. It has a 80 magazine, which is also great as well. And it doesn't really take down all of your magazine, uh, sorry. Your, your ammo capacity is what I meant to say, not your magazine. Moving on to the 24% critical chance, three times the crit multiplier, and a 18% status. It's a great weapon. Overall, base damage is not what we're not what you're going to be focused on as much as just increasing your critical chance, because you have a really great crit multiplier. Critical chance is what you want to aim for as well. Building for both of these. It'll make the weapon very strong. Pyrona Prime is another great and one of the best weapons, I honestly say, um, as a single weapon. Most definitely pick this one up as well. Now, this weapon is really special because of its uh, Prime version. Digital Stream decided to add a really cool effect to this. Pyrona Prime, looking at all its stats, it's a really amazing weapon. Great fire rate. Great magazine and great reload. Uh, critical chance is 24%, 2.2 the crit multiplier, and 3.6 status. Now, damage wise, it'll do really amazing. Just focus on the critical chance. Building that up will definitely have you uh, doing more of a great effect on critical chance and crit multiplier as well. Now, with this, it'll increase your damage. Once you get a three kill streak, you can actually summon a second Pyrana Prime. That means you'll have a dual weapon, but one will look like a ghost, like it just popped out of nowhere. It is a really cool effect, and I really like how all of a sudden you can just do this. So, adding that on, it'll increase your fire rate, and it'll also increase your magazine, making it do even more fire rate. Adding on better damage to the weapon. Last weapon I want to talk about is the Akaboto. Now, I don't think this is one of the best weapons. But, however, I think it's one of the best critical chance weapons of 
having a higher critical chance of all these prime weapons that we've seen in Warframe. So, with a 36% critical chance, 2.8 crit multiplier status, 14%, I honestly would say Akabolto Prime, we should definitely pick up one of the best critical chance weapons. A high critical chance. So, you could definitely aim for a higher critical chance when it comes down to this weapon doing 10 times the insane damage as some of these weapons can do. Um, but fire rate weapons are where it's pretty much just at with these weapons. And I know that a lot of people um, don't really care about too much of critical chance. But this one, I would definitely say add it into your inventory. Maybe if you want to kill an enemy with a high critical chance weapon, you know. This is something like the Boltor Prime, but obviously it's just very different since these are two pistols. And they shoot the same as the same as Boltor Prime, but however, it's just very different. It's got slow fire rate. Um, Boltor Prime has faster fire rate. And it does n it cannot do critical chance like the Akaboto can. So let me know what you guys think about all these three weapons in the comments below. And let me know which one you guys like the most. Last but not least, we finally have the melee weapons. Starting off with the first melee weapon, one of the best is Nakana Prime. Nakana Prime is a nice looking, cool bladed Nakana. And this is a really great high crit weapon. I would definitely say Nakana Prime is probably the most used and overrated, just literally overrated uh, Nakana in the game. Of course, weapon, I would definitely say. And just using it is like, it is got great stances to it, but I wouldn't use it all the time, honestly. I mean, it's just sometimes the stance just gets a little bit old to me, which makes it a less of a, you know, weapon I want to use most of the time. But however, that's just my opinion. Don't mean to say that, don't mean to encourage that, but 28% of a critical chance to 2.4 times the crit multiplier and a 28% status is what you should be worrying about. All right, these weapons are really great and you should look into them. Nakana Prime is one of them, one of the best Nakanas and one of the best weapons that a lot of people would definitely say, so definitely pick up this weapon. Thinking about this weapon, I actually never use it, but I'm definitely gonna put it in the best weapon of a uh, melee one because a lot of people do love to use it, and I'm not gonna lie, it actually is a great weapon with a high crit, critical chance, you can definitely build it for. 35% uh, of critical chance, 2.5 times the crit multiplier, and a 25% status making it a great high crit weapon that you can definitely use in the steel path nakana prime as well um but definitely have to give it to the reaper prime because it does do a lot of great damage so great build with this it has a 1.08 of an attack speed so it's around the same thing as nakana prime and it's not bad it's actually got a great attack speed i showed you how to get berserker fury so you should have you know, you will be able to increase that um, attack speed so you don't have to worry about how slow the weapon is. Cronin Prime, another great. This is a Tonfa weapon. These are different weapons that I'm pointing out to you guys. Uh, this is a Tonfa, and this Tonfa is really amazing in the game. One of the greatest Tonfas to ever be brought to Warframe. I actually enjoy this weapon a lot. There is a great stance to this, and now I hope you guys enjoy it as well. With a great 22% critical chance, Two times a crit multiplier and a 34% status. You'll be having fun just slashing through enemies with these two dual weapons. The Tonfa's Cronin Prime. It has a great high slash damage. Which building for Viral would make it more fun. Cutting through enemies and you know. Proccing slash damage is one of the effective ways to use with Viral. And doing a lot of damage to any of these enemies. Nami Skyla. A two dual blades i actually really love these weapons as well one thing i do have to say these are one of the best dual weapons as well i honestly have to give it to naimi skyla because it's got great stances it does high uh, attack speed as well that this is reason why it's actually one of my favorites it does give you a great critical chance of 22 percent two times a group multiplier and the same 34% status as the Cronin Prime. However, it does have a little bit of less slash damage than the Cronin, but however, it's around 
almost around the same type slash damage that it also gives the Cronin Prime. So it's actually one of my favorite dual weapons. So I gotta say, especially as swords, yeah, this is one of my favorites. I would definitely say pick up the Cronin Prime and the Nami Skylar Prime as well as all these great weapons that I've just named for you guys. This will be really, really useful. I recommend these weapons. You're going to have a lot of fun with these weapons. And that is just it. Melee weapons now are not too bad. But these weapons are going to help you through the game and make your experience with melee weapons even better. And that is all for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it's very long. I broke it down for you guys. So you don't have to sit there and hear me talk, I talk, I talk a lot. So you find whatever part you enjoy the best about this video. And let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.